Today is the 150th anniversary of an event we all learned about in school. It saved a young and struggling nation from division. Tonight, David Martin takes us back to where it all happened. It was just a red brick house at a little crossroads in Southern Virginia, until the winds of war turned it into one of the most important places in American history, Appomattox, a place author Jonathan Horn says no one should ever take for granted. It's so easy to look at Appomattox and forget that nothing was inevitable at that moment. In these fields just outside town, General Ulysses S. Grant and 65,000 Union troops cornered General Robert E. Lee and his remaining force of 30,000 starving Confederate soldiers. The Gray Fox, says Ranger Patrick Schroeder, had finally been run to ground. He said he would rather die a thousand deaths than go have to meet with General Grant. What did he think was going to happen to him? He expected to be General Grant's prisoner. At 1.30 in the afternoon, Lee and Grant met. What's at stake when these two men sit down here? What's at stake is the future of this country. Uh, will we be one country again? After four years of war and 700,000 dead, the man known as Unconditional Surrender Grant wrote out the terms he thought President Lincoln, with his promise of malice toward none and charity toward all, would want. Grant offers very generous terms. He's not going to punish the South. He's going to parole these soldiers and allow them to go home. It was over in 90 minutes. Lee called for his horse. General Grant takes off his hat to General Lee as he's riding by, and the rest of his staff follows in that salute, as you will, and General Lee uh, doffs his hat to General Grant as he rides away. And then what does he tell the troops? He can barely speak, but it's something along the lines of go home and become good citizens. The Union troops uh, begin to fire their rifles in the air, and eventually artillery begin to fire salutes, and uh, Grant orders it stopped. He says, stop the firing. The rebels are countrymen again. Headlines trumpeted the news, the end, Union victory, peace. But one in particular captured what really happened in those 90 minutes. Our nation redeemed. David Martin, CBS News, Appomattox, Virginia. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, good night.